Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to use your uh, file gauge, keep the re correct distance, the correct depth. Um, and once you get more time uh, sharpening, you can do it freehand without it. Uh, but just some key points, I use just a regular file so you can kind of see it. Uh, every tooth has a line on the back of it, and that's the angle you want to keep that tooth, that cutter at. So as you're going through and sharpening you want to watch your angles as far as your angles tilting your file too far forward or back um, or even in this direction or back okay you don't want it too steep because it's going to grab too much you want that correct that correct uh, angle right here at the tooth so as you're sharpening okay? that's where this uh, the gauge actually comes in handy because the bottom of it just sits on top of the, the raker, on top of the tooth, and it gives you the correct depth. All you really got to worry about is your angles as far as how you hold up and down, okay? A straight forward motion, keeping the file level. Okay. One of the key points here is this, as you sharpen your, your chainsaw uh, chains, the teeth naturally decrease, okay, so they go at a downward angle. So as you're going down, you want to make sure you have the correct curvature underneath that tooth. If you're filing this thing where it's flat, you're not getting enough depth down in here, the further back you get, the flatter this is going to be, and it's not going to be cut correctly as the longer you use this chain. So just for the life of the chain to make life easier, make sure you have that downward pressure and create that natural curvature underneath the tooth. Okay? It wants to be like a moon shape in there. Like I said, just worry about your angles. Later we'll show you more in depth on how to do that, but that's just more how to use the, the actual gauge. Okay? Balance it right on top of the tooth, on top of the raker, smooth strokes. You want Put, apply pressure as you're moving it forward. Okay, release pressure on the way back, pressure on the way forward, release, and so on. Okay, keeping that natural angle and using that line on the back of the tooth to, to guide you on the correct angle.